If your patient's got chest pain and the patient tells you, Doc, can you give me something for pain? My pain is really, really bad. Are you going to give your patient morphine or some form of opioid? Is that a good idea? Actually, it is a terrible, terrible idea. Let me explain. If you give somebody opioids on the context of acute coronary syndrome, does it improve mortality? Does it no change to mortality? Or does it worsen mortality? It actually worsens mortality. Get the data from observational data, which is known as the Crusade Initiative. What they identified was a lot of patients in the Crusade Initiative who got morphine on the context of acute coronary syndrome ended up having higher mortality. And therefore, it's bad to give patients opioids on the context of ACS. And they did some smaller trials after that. And guess what they found? I always wondered, why did that actually happen? Well, morphine actually decreases the concentration and activity of your P2 Y12 agents such as clopidogrel and ticaglor, the drugs that truly have mortality benefit is gonna get kicked down by the opioid. And that is why it is bad to use it. Now, do we still use some form of opioid? We do, but we leave it only when the patient has unrelenting pain. Because could pain worsen the patient's MI? It can, because if you're in significant pain, you're gonna have increased heart rate. If your heart rate goes up, you're gonna increase your myocardial oxygen demand, and that's gonna worsen the situation. So you can use opioids, but you will leave it for the absolute last resort.